channel. What's up, folks? Check it out. Today we're gonna make some some chicken fajitas. Okay. So hi. We've got what we need here to make what we're gonna do. We got some chicken. We got a deep thaw, avocado, chili powder, tortillas, chopped up onion. Some organic garbanzo, not garbanzo, pinto beans, some pepper, and some green and red peppers, fresh, chopped up, okay? So we're gonna make these, these fajitas here real good like. Oh, and you gotta have some salsa, you know what I'm saying? You can't go without salsa! So check it out. We're gonna get this party started. I'm gonna defile this chicken. Be sure to get your veggies cut up, your onion, your green peppers, red peppers. Get those ready to go. Okay. Um, of course, get your beans in the can. Tortillas, get ready to warm those up. Chili powder. Let's get this chicken chopped up. Get ready to go. All right, guys. So I got my chicken thawed out, chopped up here. Everything's ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thrown on the uh, pan over here. Once those are cooked up a bit, we're gonna throw on our veggies. All right. So, uh, actually, I'm probably gonna throw my onion on like very shortly after, but I'm gonna move this camera. I'm gonna show you how we do this. All right, I'm probably gonna spray everywhere, make a mess. But one thing I didn't mention in the beginning of the video is get some oil. I use grapeseed oil, it's very neutral in flavor and very good for you. Keep those beans mixed up over there. Put in, I don't know, however much you want, just enough to put a nice thin layer. We're on the bottom there. Okay. And uh, dump that chicken on in. Get it in there. All right. Once you get that chicken up in there, just move it around with that oil. Mix it all up around real good. Let it start, see how fast it's cooking? I have my burner set to four, okay? So kind of a medium setting, low or medium. Let it cook up a little bit. Keep those beans warm. I have them set to a low setting. I've just been letting them cook up a little bit as we go. So this pan over here I have for uh, simply just doing the tortilla shell. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip that on. Okay, you don't want to set that real high. I set mine to four. So we're gonna let this chicken chizzle for a second. Okay. And we're gonna get some uh, chili powder in here. I just take the chili powder with my fingers and just uh, go like this. Spread it around a little bit. Okay, you don't want a whole lot, just a little bit. See that? That's about all you want. That should be plenty. Get all that dumped in there. Mix it around up in it. Got chili powder. I got the spicy chili powder. Woo! Mix that all up around in there. See that nice mixture? Let me see some. You wanna see it? Yeah. Look at it up there, boy. Mm, Yummy. Cooking up some chicken. So I'll cook it around a little bit there. It's starting to brown up quite a bit. So now we're gonna go ahead and start throwing in our veggies, okay? So I'm gonna throw in some peppers, green and red both. Dump it all in there. Be sure to get your onion, throw that in there. I like a lot of veggies, guys. Mix it all together. Get those juices around on the veggies. For proportions, I just, uh, for proportions, I just, uh, just do what I want. I don't really follow a recipe. I just make this up, okay? So, for my veggies, I gotta cut up however much I like. And dump it in there. Get all that cooking. Beans are gone. So I like beans with my fajitas. 
Let that cook for a few minutes. Make sure the chicken's cooked all the way through. We're about set to go, guys. Hang tight. All right, guys, this has been cooking for a few minutes. Our chicken's almost done. But I got probably another couple, couple more minutes to go is all. But now it's time to add some brown black pepper. Okay, just put some of that on there. Not a ton, just enough. Kids are fighting over a puzzle. Mix all that in there. Let it sit for a couple more minutes. And we're ready to have some fajitas up in this business. All right, guys, hang tight. All right, guys, so this is done. If you want to get real crazy, this is optional. I'm going to add a tiny bit of cayenne pepper. Spice it up a little bit. I know I didn't mention this before because it's not necessary, but you can if you want to. Just mix in a little bit of that in there. Give it some more heat. A little bit of a different flavor. Okay. Mix it around in there. Just like so. I got my shells I've been cooking over here in the meantime. Okay. Mix that all around. Make sure all the juices and everything get all up on each other. And look at that. Look at that. Doesn't that just look so good? Getting ready for some mad food here, you guys. This is gonna be bomb. Let's take this over to the counter and we're gonna show you how to dip this up. All right, guys, here we are. I've got my tortilla shells all warmed up. Okay. So, oh, thanks, Bob. Thanks for the help. All right. So we're gonna just take some of this fajita mix that we created. Stuff it on a taco. Taco shell. Okay. Oh, I forgot my spoon. For my beans. Scoop up just a little bit of beans for a little bit of bean flavor in there. Okay. My kids are fighting again. Get some of our avocado. Stick it on there. <laughs> Hang on, guys. I'm back. Kids are in order. Fighting over Christmas presents. <laughs> they like them so much, I guess. So anyways, put your avocado on there. Like so. Dip up your second taco. Fajita, whatever. Get all your goods up on that. Just like so. I need a little more on this one. It's looking a little shy. A little bit of beans. You don't have to do the beans. I like to do the beans. Get your tapatillo. So, once you get everything on there, avocado, beans, fajita mix, Homemade fajita mix. Okay. Get your salsa. Put some of that on there. You gotta have some tapatio. Pretty easy meal, right? Check it out. Look at this. Doesn't that look so good? Hey guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed it, and I'm going to enjoy it even more because I'm going to be eating this up. Thanks again, guys. Peace out.